Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Metaphysical Moonlighters. This is your July 2019 tarot reading. So I'm just going to lay out your cards so that we can get right into your reading. And if you want a personal reading like the one that I'm about to do, you can just visit my website, metaphysicalmoonlighters.com. And we can get that together for you. So this month I am using the Book of Shadows So Below deck and I'm also using the Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards for a message for you as well. So let's pick out your cards for your spread. Okay, this is a message for you. These two just fell out. So this is an overall message for you this month, Gemini. These are the two cards that fell out. You have the Knight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles reversed, okay? So a lot of you Geminis are going to be going through a lifestyle change this month, okay? This can also signify that some Geminis will be traveling by air this month as well. But overall, this signifies a lifestyle change, okay? And being that this card fell out with it, uh, this is the Two of Pentacles reversed. Um, you need to uh, make all of your decisions very carefully because this can signify it can signify uh, a danger of losing money or energy so being that you are having a lifestyle change this can zap your energy so try to do everything you have to do to stay energized you know that can mean giving enough rest sitting down and writing out a plan of how you're going to go through this lifestyle change okay these two just fell out for you so let me just put these back in the deck and shuffle some more just shuffle some more and pick out some other cards for you for your spread but that was definitely a message from spirit when the cards fall out like that so let's look at what's going on with gemini for the month of july this is your first card okay so the first card is always related to how you view yourself and how other people will be viewing you this month okay and so you have the princess of cups so this month people are going to view you as a very sensitive person okay so we'll put that in the house one position now let's look at your finances what's going on with your material possessions in july gemini your material possessions look great and remember this is a general reading this is for all Gemini's all over the world so something could very well resonate with you but if something does not resonate with you don't think about it too much this is for entertainment purposes okay so as far as your finances overall for Gemini's finances look great for you this month okay let's move on and see what's going on in the area of your life that is ruled by mercury so this can relate to your communication style it can relate to your interactions with technology it can also relate to your interaction with your siblings and your close neighbors as well so let's see what you have okay so again this can signify low energy so as for and you know what mercury is going retrograde this month as well so this could be another reason this came out so gemini's just try to have patience with technology uh, this month in july now let's move on to see what's going on with your home and your family life what is going on with your home and your family life gemini gemini okay as far as your home and your family life um, you might have to deal with a family member who is cynical this month or it could be you that's what this card signifies now let's move on to see what's going on in the area of your life that deals with fun creativity even romance you can even deal with kids this is the house that is ruled by the Sun okay so as far as any creativity any fun this month you have the moon card reversed and this can deal with confusion it might even deal with a little bit of depression as well 
Um, so nothing much really going on there. This is just signifying that um, as far as creativity, fun, romance, um, there might be kind of like a miscommunication going on in that area of your life this month, Gemini. So let's see what's going on with your health and your vitality this month, Gemini. This can also deal with your daily routine, things that you do on a daily basis outside of the home. Wow. So outside of the home, you are feeling creative. You are feeling inspired. You have the magician card. So outside of home, you know, you feel like there's a flow. Okay. And what did you have for home? Yeah, at home, it's like at home, you, a lot of Geminis are feeling better this month away from home than at home. Okay, so just watch out for that. Let's see what's going on with your partnership area. This can be romantic partnerships. This can be business partnerships. Let's see what do you have. Okay, so this month, a lot of Geminis are going to feel like possessive. You might feel possessive or you might be in a relationship or a partnership with someone who is possessive this month. For some reason, even if it, you feel like it's not in their character, you might notice them being possessive this month. So watch out for that. Could be you or it could be them. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your transformation. Transformation, you just have to be cautious about something. You have the Nine of Wands, and this can be the card that deals with caution, okay? Or it could be dealing with a final challenge before you actually succeed. So let's see what's going on in the area of your life. This one fell out. So as far as your higher knowledge area, you have the Empress card. So everything is great in that area of your life. Ooh, another one fell out. Now, a lot of you have to watch your backs on your job. This one just fell out for um, the area of your life dealing with your career or your business. Um, a lot of you Geminis might be experiencing some type of competition on your job or in your business. So just you have to watch your back as far as that is concerned. Now let's see what's going on with your friendships. With your friendships, everything is positive, okay? Everything is positive, optimistic. You're feeling good about your friendships, a lot of you Geminis. And finally, let's look at your spirituality. Where are you this month with your spirituality? With your spirituality, you might find yourself um, going through extremes with your spirituality. So just watch out for that. Try to keep it balanced. This is the temperance card. So try to have this card upright. Okay, you have it reversed, which can deal with extremes. So just watch out for that. Kind of like going overboard with your spirituality. Now let's pick out one overall message for you for this month, Gemini. Take care of your needs. Overall this month, no matter what is going on, take care of your needs okay you have the winter card and this card is all about putting yourself first gemini okay remember to put yourself first and then you can help others so that has been your monthly reading gemini again this is metaphysical moonlighters channel and thank you so much for watching the video please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already press the like button, and also share it with your family and your friends and your co-workers. I definitely appreciate it. So I hope you have a great month, and I'll see you next month.